welcome back to sunny Scotland and my kitchen. Uh, as you know, last week we ran a little poll and uh, between the Negroni and the Rob Roy cocktail as to which one you guys wanted to see, um, and the Negroni won. So that means this week we're looking at the Black Bull 12 year old Rob Roy. <laughs> So, a Rob Roy, if you're not really familiar with a Rob Roy, it is a Scotch take on a Manhattan, effectively. Um, it originated from Manhattan in New York in uh, uh, 1894 uh, in the Waldorf Astoria. It was um, named after a play that was actually on at the time called Rob Roy, loosely based on Scottish characters, not stereotyping at all. Um, let's see what's in it. We're using Black Bull 12 year old. Uh, this is a, a premium scotch, uh, blended scotch. Uh, what, what I said in the previous one's uh, videos about Black Bull is it's, it is a premium blend, but it doesn't mean it's expensive in a premium sense. It means that it um, has got a really high malt content um, and it's bottled at a higher percentage, which is at 50% ABV also with a 50% grain to malt ratio as well, uh, which again gives it a much higher um, depth and more multi-characteristics -char uh, than uh, other blends that are in the market. Um, this one in particular, everything is aged 12 years or older and predominantly uses sherry casks. So you get a lovely little color, lovely color on that. Uh, and you get all of the, the beautiful flavors uh, of every, everything that's synonymous with uh, sherry whiskey. Um, and that's why I think it works really, really well with this type of cocktail. Um, you get all of the kind of the, the dry fruit notes. That's what we're going to be using. So what else we've got is a sweet red vermouth. You saw this in the uh, Negroni video. Uh, this is um, uh, Antica formula again. Uh, a beautiful sweet red, red vermouth. I would highly recommend it. And, and then we've just got some chocolate bitters. So. Uh, a perfect Rob Roy, they would probably use Angostura bitters, but because we're using the, the Black Bull 12 year old, I think that the chocolate bitters really complements the, uh, uh, complements this drink. So, um, yeah. So what else we got for this one? Uh, so the equipment, again, we don't need any of our shaking tins. We just need a glass to stir it down in and, uh, the usual Hawthorne strainer and a cocktail spoon. So we've got that, we've got our measure, let's get making it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to put in a double measure, a large shot of the, uh, the Black Bull 12 year old, like that. Oh, it just smells so good, that, so good. So I'll pop that back up there so you can all have a little look at the bottle. There we are. So a large shot of the Black Bull 12 year old has gone in there. And then we're going to use a single shot of the sweet red vermouth. Oopsie baby. Uh, again, this is kind of uh, my take on a on a Rob Roy. Um, everyone uses slightly different uh, kind of ratio, um, but this is kind of what I've gone for. And again, two to three dashes of the uh, the chocolate bitters. Again, that just adds really good depth. Um, they're, they're the they they they're, they're the bitters that we use, that I'm using. Uh, Three Brothers. Aztec chocolate bitters, and um, just I think they're just delicious. They add so much depth uh, into the cocktails. Uh, next thing we need is just a little bit of ice. So I'm just going to pop in a couple of ice cubes in there, and then we're just going to stir it down. So what I've said before is about 30 to 40 seconds. Um, make sure your drink's really nice and chilled. Uh, so let's get that nice and stirred. <laughs> Have a little taste of that, see what it's like. Oh, that's tasting really good. I'm just going to give it a little bit more, just to want a little bit more dilution on that one. And um, the uh, the sweet red vermouth really complements the Black Bull 12 year old. Um, it's probably the best match that I've found so far. It's just so tasty, and I'm really looking forward to drinking this drink later on. Right. I think that's about ready. So as usual, we've got a, uh, a glass chilling in the freezer. 
And this one is going to be served straight up, so in a coupe glass. And we're just going to pour that in like that. Deal with that later on. And then for the, for the garnish on this one, what you'd usually use is a cherry. Um, but again, what I think really complements the chocolate bitters and the rich kind of dry fruit notes of the um, of the Black Bull 12 is probably a, is a little bit of orange. So as I usually do, a little bit of a squirt of the aroma in there, pop it around the rim of the glass, and then just dunk it in. And there we have a beautiful Black Bull 12 year old Rob Roy. Cheers guys, I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Thank you.